you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very requested video that I see you guys in the comments asking for me to do a video about my kind of go-to work outfits that I wear. So a little background on me, I am a real estate agent in Seattle, Washington. Whenever I'm working and showing clients, I like to be a little bit more dressed up and I have put together kind of a capsule wardrobe. Fair warning, pretty much literally everything I'm gonna show you is from Aritzia literally everything except the shoes because Aritzia doesn't sell shoes this is not sponsored and I'm sorry if it's frustrating because Aritzia price points are a little bit higher I understand not everyone wants to shop at Aritzia I do think if you are going into a career and you want to invest in yourself a little bit a couple pieces are well worth it I have pieces from Aritzia that I've had for like four or five years now all right so everything will be linked below and I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get right into it I'm gonna start with shoes when I choose my outfit for the day the first thing I do is check the weather and then from there I start with shoes this is my favorite pair of work shoes that I have and as you'll see they've been very well loved I need to throw these away my dog actually chewed a little bit of it too so they've been through a lot on a busy week you guys I'm showing like over 50 houses that's so much running around okay so these shoes have gotten well worn they're like this kind of white crocodile skin look I love the pointed toe they're formal enough because they have a little heel and they're extremely comfortable. I could do a day of going to Disneyland in these shoes and I would be comfortable. They're by Franco Sarto. I got them at DSW for like $60. It was such a steal. I'll try and find them and link them below. And if I do that, I'll promise you guys, I'll order a new pair. The next pair of shoes that I'll wear are these black heels. These are by Mark Fisher. They're also really beat up, but because they're black, you can't really see. These have about twice the height of heel as the last shoe. So they're about twice as uncomfortable as the last shoe. For heels, they're still pretty comfortable, but I can't show more than five houses in these without starting to have my feet like really hurt. They're really cute though. They're kind of like a black suede fabric. I'm very into pointed toe. I think it's really a little more formal looking. When it comes to heels at this height, I think these are some of the more comfortable ones. My white shoes look a little more like fashion forward, but these are the most classic and dressed ups. And my last shoe I most recently got were these booties so I needed some booties because I was showing houses in 30 degree weather in these little heels and I was getting so cold it was horrible I like these booties a lot they're by Bragg and bone they have the zipper detail on the back I like the wood trim if it's 40 degrees or less outside I'm wearing these. I'm wearing these or I'm literally wearing tennis shoes. So those are my three pairs of shoes I wear the most often, other than sometimes I wear my running shoes. I love all three of these shoes. I think the Mark Fisher heels and the Frank Sarto heels are great. I would recommend them to everyone watching this video. They're both fairly comfortable at a good price as well. For pants, I pretty much exclusively wear this one type of pant. And if you don't know what it is, now you know it's gonna change your life. It's called the Effortless Pant. It's by Wilfred at Aritzia. So they have this pant in two different sizes. They have the three-quarter crop and then the full length. I have several of the three-quarter crop. I think they're just a little easier to wear. They're really cute. The full length intimidated me at first because I thought it looked like I was just drowning in fabric. I recently learned to like the full length ones though because it's winter, it's cold. So being able to cover your ankles and everything is nice. This is a very delicate type of fabric and just by the looks of it it looks like it would become a wrinkly mess very easily but I don't know what it is it doesn't wrinkle it's amazing and that is why I love these pants so much they look amazing and they don't wrinkle at all in the front you've got these little belt loops and there's just like a pleat that goes through the middle of the pant right on the front there and then you've got the little back pocket so I have it in this kind of bone color I also have it in the grayish blue color I have two black pairs I have the three-quarter crop and the full size this is my second time purchasing the black three-quarter crop I think I bought these probably close to four or five years ago the first time and I wore them so much that it eventually got holes in it because I wore it that much. If you're gonna get this pant, I would start with the three-quarter crop black. That's very easy. This is my one pair of jeans that I sometimes wear only with one outfit. You guys are gonna be like, 
Yikes, really, you wear these? I wear ripped jeans sometimes. I exclusively like wearing these jeans with this white oversized blazer and a bodysuit with my white shoes. I think the blazer is more dressed up, so it makes up for the kind of ripped jeans. I don't wear these often because obviously it's not the most professional look, but sometimes I just feel like wearing jeans, and these are the only jeans I have right now for some reason. After I've decided on a shoe that basically dictates what pant I'm gonna wear that day, then that's when I go for my top. My number one favorite top is this one by the brand Babaton that you can find at Aritzia. What I really like about it is it's got a very high neckline. It's just so cute and it's so versatile. If I wear it with high, like my high-waisted effortless pants, I'm not really showing any skin. And if I just put a blazer or a jacket on with it, it looks great. But if I'm, you know, a night out with friends or something like that, I'll not wear a jacket and it still just looks like such a cute top. Okay, these are a slightly different cut, but they're still very similar. With this one, you'll see it has a little bit more of like a racer back. This one just through and through looks the same. Like you could wear this backwards and no one would know. I know I just said those shirts are my favorite, but that was a lie. This shirt is actually my favorite. This is called the Carter blouse. So, so nice. I love this color. It's like a taupe color. It looks so good on its own. Even though it's sleeveless, it's such a high neckline and all that stuff, I feel like you could wear it without sleeves and it's still appropriate enough. It looks really good under blazers, under coats. The fabric, again, doesn't really wrinkle. I don't know how they do it, but it's just really nice for maintenance and everything. Moving on to blazers, I have three blazers that I absolutely love, and the funny thing is they're all very different. I think blazers can be tough because they're kind of like a manly sort of garment. For me, the clothes that I wear, I don't always feel the most feminine, so I love Aritzia's blazers because they do feel more feminine to me. The first one I have here is just in this kind of plaid print. I like that this blazer does not have a formal collar. It, to me, it makes it feel like it's a little bit of a hybrid between a cardigan and a blazer. The sleeves are actually three-quarter length. They cinch up right here. And I think that also gives it just a little bit more of a relaxed feel. So this next blazer is completely different from the last one. It's that kind of chiffon fabric. It's definitely the same fabric as the effortless pants. Does not really wrinkle a whole lot. This one's a lot more formal. As you can see, it has more of that collar and it's a lot shorter. It took a little time for me to warm up to. Some of these clothes, like they are so much more formal than I was used to. Before I was a real estate agent, you guys, I literally would wear sweats every day. So it took me a little time to work up to feeling comfortable in some of these things. My last blazer is my favorite, but I find it to be the hardest to wear. But when I get it right, oh, it looks so cute. So this blazer is an oversized style blazer. This can be pretty dressed up feeling. So I like to wear jeans just to make it feel more relaxed and fun. Even though it is really, really large, it, they do have certain kind of seams and cuts within it that give it that more feminine feel that I like. Moving on to jackets. Doing real estate in Seattle, it's cold and rainy the majority of the time. So having nice kind of formal jackets to keep myself warm in between house showings is very important. This is such an Aritzia commercial. I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm not sorry. I'm living my truth here, okay? Aritzia has wool jackets jackets that look really nice and they are so warm. So this first one, I've, I've had this for probably about almost four years. I think it's called the Cocoon Coat and it's just in this kind of camel color. It's got the button right here. Sometimes I do button it, keeps you a little warmer and it's just a different kind of look. And then the other coat that I have, again, it's a wool coat. This one's black. It's more of like a giant wool cardigan in a way. It's got huge pockets. This one on the bottom has little slits to it as well. I think that's a nice detail. And last for a little bit of a more heavy duty jacket, I love the Aritzia Super Puffs. They're extremely warm. I like the kind of dark green one. It's just a little different than all my other neutral clothes that I have, yet it matches all the neutral stuff enough. <laughs> they repel water really great. They're fairly waterproof. I like the contrast of the, the kind of army green with the black zipper. So that's it. That is everything that I own that is more of that business attire, a little more formal, what I wear for work. It is kind of more of that capsule wardrobe, right? It's not a lot of clothes. You don't need a ton of clothes. You just need a couple really good high quality things. The effortless pants, get those in every color. 
That's what I've done and it makes life so easy because they're comfortable, they look amazing. I hope you guys liked this video, I hope it was helpful. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I like to do kind of daily vlogs about my life in Seattle. I also have a real estate channel. So it's all about Seattle real estate and just things to do in Seattle. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will have that link below as well. If you happen to be a subscriber that lives in Seattle and you're looking to buy a home or sell your home, don't hesitate to reach out to me too. My email will be below. I'd be happy to connect with you on that too. Enough self promo. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.